Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we'll be doing our first IoT project using Arduino Cloud. Guys, this is going to be a fun follow along tutorial. That means you can simply follow me and copy whatever I am doing. And by the end, you will understand how Arduino Cloud works. And you should be able to make your own Arduino IoT projects using Arduino Cloud and an Arduino board. In this project, for you to follow along, all you want is a computer, a USB data cable, and an Arduino board with Wi Fi connectivity. Okay guys, first thing you need to do is click on the link in the description and access cloud.arduino.cc and that will take you to the homepage. And if you have an account, you can simply log into that. And if you don't have an account, you can simply create one and log into it. It's a really quick process, so it won't take more than 30 seconds. So once you have logged in, it will take you to this page. And here on the right top, you should be able to see this button. Simply click on that and that will take you to your page and here on the left side you should be able to see a few menus right so the main things that we are interested in is devices things dashboard and triggers at the moment we'll be focusing more on devices things and dashboards here under things you should be able to see all the projects that you are working on or you have worked on at the moment you won't see anything here because it's a new account now before creating a project First, we need to add an Arduino board with which we'll be doing the project. In order to do that, simply go to devices. And here, you should be able to see all the boards that are currently registered to this account. So, let's add a new Arduino board. In order to do that, simply click on add device and then follow the simple instructions. Since I'll be using an Arduino board at the moment, simply click on this Arduino board. And at this point, we will need to install a small software that will be handling all the communication between the Arduino board and the browser. And if this is your first time and you haven't installed it before, click on install and follow this simple instruction. Once you click on install, it will ask you to download and install this piece of software in your computer. And these steps will vary depending on the operating system that you are using. Currently, I am using a MacBook. So this is how we will be installing the Arduino Create Agent in a MacBook Pro. Simply download it and drag the Arduino Create Agent app into the applications and manually run the application. Once you have done that, go back to the browser and you should be able to see this message if the connection and everything was successful. Now, we can simply close this tab and go back to the previous tab where we were configuring the Arduino board. So, if your Arduino board is connected, you should be able to see this board right here. So, once you have seen this message, simply click on configure. Now, it will check the board that is connected to your USB port and see if the firmware and everything is updated. If it is not updated, it will update it now. It might take a few minutes, but once it is done, we can give our Arduino board a name. Let's name it Uno R4 and simply click on next. Once that is done, it will apply some final configuration that will allow this Arduino board to connect to Arduino Cloud. This process might take a few minutes, so it's very important not to disconnect this Arduino board from your computer. Okay, perfect. So now this board has been added successfully to our device list. Now, if you go to devices, you should be able to see this Arduino board. Now, with this Arduino board, we should be able to start a new thing or a project. And now we will create a new project. In order to start a new project, simply go to things. And here, click on create thing. And that will take you to a page where you'll be able to see all the information regarding your project. First, let's rename our thing. Let's name it Arduino Cloud Demo. And simply click on rename. Now let's create a variable for this project. In order to create a variable, simply click on add under cloud variables and let's give our variable a name. At the moment, let's name it switch1 and here you should be able to select which kind of variable, which data type you should be assigning to that variable. So here you should be able to see a lot of different types of variables which you can use with your project. For the time being, let's keep it simple and select boolean. All right, then you should be able to see two different options. Let's keep it like this at the moment. So basically, variable update policy determines how often it should update the cloud variable and the variable permission determines whether that variable is a read and write variable or a read only variable. Now, simply click on add variable. 
So next thing we need to do is we need to associate a device or a board to this project. In order to do that, simply click on select device, select the board that we added earlier and simply click on associate. So now this board is associated to this thing or this project. So next thing we need to do is configure the Wi-Fi. Here under network, you should be able to provide the Wi-Fi name as well as the password of your Wi-Fi network. Once you have done that, simply click on save. At the moment for demo purposes, let's leave it like that. Now let's take a quick look at the code. In order to see the code that is associated to this project, on the top right, you should be able to see this sketch. Here, you should be able to see a skeleton code with all the configurations that you have provided in the previous page, including the variable as well as the Wi-Fi configuration details. All right, so let's see what this code does. In the setup function, first, it's initializing the serial communication. Then it will initialize all the configurations in thingsproperties.h. Alright, here you should be able to see thingproperty.h and this is where all the configuration that we have provided in the previous page is. And here at this point, it will try to initiate a connection to Arduino Cloud. And here for collecting more information and for troubleshooting purposes, you can set the debugging level. And here we have the main loop function. At the moment, what the loop function does is, it will update the values from the Arduino cloud. And below that, you should be able to see one function that we will be using here for this demo purpose. That is on switch one change function. Earlier, we created one Boolean variable called switch one, right? So whenever that value changes from true to false or from false to true, this function will be executed. But how are we going to change the value of that variable? But we can change it programmatically or we can create a dashboard and a widget in it and link that widget to this particular variable. So let me show you how it is done. Now let's leave this page at the moment and go back to this main page of the project and go to dashboards and click on create dashboard. And once the dashboard is loaded, first we will give this dashboard a name, demo dashboard and click on rename. Now here on top you should be able to see a button called add and there you should be able to see a lot of cool widgets that you can use with your project. A majority of them are free. You can start using it with your project right now. A few of them do need maker plan subscription. But if you like to try it for free, you can use our coupon code rootset for a free trial to the maker monthly plan to access all advanced features of Arduino Cloud such as over-the-air uploads, up to 25 things, unlimited dashboards, alert on your phones, 3 months of data retention and much much more. You will find more information in the description below. You will need to enter your credit card information to redeem the free trial. If you cancel before the trial period is over, you won't be charged anything. But if you don't cancel it, you will be charged $6.99. Now, for the demo purpose, let's select a simple widget, that is the switch. And here, we can configure the widget. First, let's give it a name. Let's name it demo switch. Under variable, simply click on link variable button and select the thing and the variable that you would like to link with this widget. Okay, here we will be selecting switch one variable. Now, when the switch is on, the variable value will be true and when the switch is off, the variable value will be false. Now, we can go back to the code. Let's make a few modifications to the code. Okay, now, I have modified the code by adding a few lines to use the LED metrics in the Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi board. Alright, so basically, here, in this on switch one change function, if the value is true, the LED metrics will display a happy face if not, it will display a hard shape. Alright? Now the code is ready to be uploaded to the board. Before uploading this code to your board, you can simply click on this verify button and see if there are any kind of errors in this code. It may take a few seconds but after that you should be able to see if this code is error free. So here you can see that the verification process has been successfully completed. Now we can upload this code to our board. Make sure the board is connected and simply click on this upload button. Okay, this process will also might take a few seconds and once that is done, here we can see that the upload process has been successfully completed. Now we can go to the dashboard 
and try changing the value of the variable by toggling the switch. And here you can see that depending on the state of the switch, the value of the variable has been changed and the code under that particular condition runs and that will be reflected here in the Arduino board. Let's make something fun and interesting. An automatic plant watering system or a home automation system. Which one do you choose?